sign are you? Cancer. Do you read horoscopes? Yes, I do. <laughs> and do you think you, your personality corresponds to cancer? Yes, part of it. I'm quite emotional. Um, I'm very in touch with my own emotions. So when I know I'm sad or when I know I'm extremely happy or, you know, stressed out, it, I'm kind of in tune with who I am. And I'm also in tune in picking up other people's energies, which is, you know, kind of good, I guess, in this industry. <laughs> so we're very creative. And I love water and I love nature as well, so. Hesitation is what took me so long the most in nature? Water and more like landscapes. So whenever I'm at a beach I love seeing the landscape of the sand, the ocean, the mountains or if I'm in somewhere tropical I really visualize what's around me. So I really am interested in that. Animals too. Yo canto. It's very uh, spring. It's about to wake everyone up in the crowd. <laughs> I love the degradation of the color. Uh, it's kind of actually colors like this, very corals, so um, and layered in different type of fabrics, chiffon and the other one that they have their patterns in. So it's really cool. My summer was amazing. Most of it was in New York, but the first two weeks I went to Hawaii, to Kauai and Oahu. Amazing. And the last day before I went on the plane, I went shark diving, cage shark diving. And it was one of the best experiences of my life. Like, it was one of the things I wanted to do in my bucket list was to swim with sharks. Once you're down there, it's like their world. They're so serene and they're extremely majestic. And you see this 14 foot shark swimming around you and you're just like a child, like so intrigued by them. I was, I recommend it to everyone. You have to do it at some point in your life. Baby, there's a shark in the water. The makeup is really, really beautiful. It's like a very thin eyeliner and black eyeliner inside of the lid to give it like, it's like a soft, smoky eye. And then the rest is like very clean and glowing, which is nice. High in the sky, the song that I'm singing, a sweet little lie, a cry, whoop, cry. It's like a silk material, like a dress. It's a two-layered and it has slits on the sides and it hits right above the knee. It's very, very, like, subtle and sexy. Wouldn't cause you any help. Joan, very exciting news. You and Carly are going to be hosting House of Stars. I know. Um, yeah, it's super exciting. Uh, it's, you know, you kind of try to evolve as being a model, not just being a model on the runway or editorial. It's about, you know, growing your profile. So I think House of Style was it's extremely exciting to know that they're bringing it back and you know my co-host is Carly so you know it's good to be amongst friends all the time I could I get that my prospects were good and she said baby the good thing about it too is that there's so many new talent right now from photographers to designers so it's nice to like bring light to them as well and you know they're the new crop that's coming out. It's it's exciting to highlight them as well. It's 
in the air, obviously, and you're seeing it little by little. So it's always nice to see how that's going to transcend throughout, you know, years to come, or now the editorials and the campaigns and the advertising, how all of this goes, you know, to that. So, you know, we have one more city left, Paris, to see how that transition continues. And, you know, it's, it's a good time right now. I could start right away. And she's a lesson day that got something to say I got no car and it's breaking my heart But I found a driver and that's a start I mean, look at this dress. Everything about it is fab. I have my matching bag as well. So, you know, it's good to start the morning with such a fabulous show and everyone looks beautiful. The collection is amazing to die for. Are you a sophisticated young lady? I think I am at times, yeah. I think I'm pretty sophisticated. Sophistication is about how you carry yourself with pride and, you know, how people can relate to you as well and, you know, always carry yourself with importance and just you know, have this allure about you that people want to know. So I think that's sophistication to me. Would you ever want to be a designer? Would you like to have your own line? I mean, you never know what it might bring my life and my future, but you know, being in this industry and seeing what it requires to be a designer and, you know, you have to put so much of yourself into it and be extremely creative and have a good group of people around you, it's, it's really challenging. It's not as easy as people might seem it is once they see the clothes, but, like, you go backstage at your fitting and you see the seamstress sewing until, you know, so many hours and the creativeness that goes behind it, the styling, you know, the designer, everything. I think it takes a lot, so I would have to consider it. <laughs>